Hey Stitchers, your girl Chris here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel on social where it's totally cool to be obsessed with sewing. So for today's video, your girl is coming at you from a completely different location. So this, you guys, is where all the magic happens. Unfortunately, I don't have a room that I can dedicate to sewing, not unless I get rid of one of my kids. So until such time, then I've settled for a corner of my house and I'm filming this video from here today because I'll be sharing with you guys all of my January 2024 sewing makes and it was just so much easier to be able to access my sewing rack from this spot. So as I said, today's video is all about my January 2024 sewing makes. Now for January, your girl has knocked six garments out of the park. Now that's a big deal for me. Between work and wifing and momming, being able to sew up and complete six garments for the month just makes me feel so pleased with myself. Three of those items being for the Make 9 project for 2024. Now, just before I get into the makes of the month, let me tell you guys what I'm wearing. So this top right here is the True Bias Roscoe top, which I made, I think, in 2019. If I were to guess, I would guess 2019 and I made it for my mom. So you guys, my mom is no longer with us. And when I was clearing out her wardrobe, I did hold on to a couple pieces of clothing that belonged to her, um, more so ones that held some sentimental value. And obviously this top fit the bill. Now I made this top for her as I think the first make for her. And she was super, super impressed with it. In fact, when I gave it to her, she couldn't believe that I had actually made it. She thought it was something that I bought. And so obviously this top has lots of lots of value. And I like to put it on on days when I really miss my mom and I feel like I need just a little extra comfort, just, you know, feeling her presence like wrapped around me. So for today's video, I'm wearing the True Bias Roscoe blouse that I made for my mom. But that's not why you guys are here today. So let's get into my makes for January 2024. All right, so I have been accused of having a terrible memory and I actually have to concede. So if you see me looking down today, it's because I'm referring to my notes on my iPad, which is on my lap. So about those makes for January 2024. My first make for January was actually McCall's 7974, which came out in 2019. Now, when this pattern came out, it was pretty, pretty popular. And there are thousands of posts under the hashtag over on Instagram. Now I made my first iteration of this pattern and I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture so that you guys can see using like a teal crepe fabric back in, I think, 2019 or 2020. And I wanted to tackle this dress again. So this is the version that I have made for this year. This is 7974 in view A. On the first occasion, I made view D, view D even though I secretly wanted to make view A but didn't think I had the skill to tackle the bias area and the tie knot sleeves which accompanied the pattern. But your girl has come a long way in her sewing and I felt confident tackling this project this month and this is what she looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert either a video or some photos or something so that you guys can see what this project looks like on. Now for this version, I made it using this beautiful cow print cotton sateen that I picked up from Mood Fabrics and I did in fact hack this pattern. Now I have filmed and posted a full pattern review of this make right here on this channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the link in either here or in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and watch the full review of this make. Now, as I was saying for this make, I did go ahead and hack the pattern by introducing a lace insert into the skirt portion of this pattern. And you guys, this pattern hack took me ages. It was really time consuming and kind of boring whilst doing it. But I really, really love the finished garment. And I'm very happy with this project being my first make of 2024. My second make for the month was actually the Vicky Sews Cynthia, Cynthia shirt. You guys, I'm getting tongue twisted here. The Vicky Sews Cynthia shirt. And I did go ahead and post a full review right here on my channel. 
So if you're interested in seeing more about the Vicky So Cynthia shirt, then I'm going to leave the link right here or in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check out that video as well. So this is the completed Cynthia shirt and I made it using this gorgeous, gorgeous abstract rayon print fabric from Stylemaker Fabrics. And again, I hacked this pattern, but I don't even know if I should call it a hack, but it is kind of a hack because I decided to use a different fabric just for the sleeve portion of this make. So this is actually a pink chiffon fabric that I had in my stash. I can't remember where it's from. And I had the brilliant idea of introducing this chiffon sleeve into this make, which made my life that much more difficult. Now, rayon fabric is pretty slippery to work with, but it's so, so, so soft to wear. Chiffon fabric is like 10 times as slippery as rayon fabric. And so cutting out and sewing up my sleeve portion did give me just a little bit extra of a challenge. Now, it didn't help that this was my first time doing a tower placket in a shirt. Now, I've made tons of shirts already, but never one with a tower placket. And so it was a great experience for me trying out the tower placket, but I didn't think I loved myself trying to put my very first tower placket onto this chiffon sleeve. Thankfully, it worked out fine, and I think the finished item is quite beautiful and pretty neat if I do say so myself. And I love, love, love this shirt. Now, I did go ahead and do um, French seams on my garment. So the inside of my shirt is just as beautiful as the outside of my garment. And I did those French seams both at the side seams and as well at my sleeves, partly because I wanted to protect the chiffon fabric from fraying um, in this shirt. I intend to wear this shirt lots. And I'm hoping that it sticks around in my wardrobe for a long time. And so I wanted to give it some longevity. Now, this shirt has a yoke at the back and it does finish with the burrito method, which means that my shoulder seams are also enclosed and my back seam is also enclosed. And again, it just makes for an incredible finish um, on the inside of my shirt. Now, I did go ahead and make a size 46 in the Vicky Sews pattern with a height of three. And this is what best accommodated my um, body measurements and my height. But you guys, having made this shirt, it is in intended to be an oversized shirt. And I think it fits me quite well as an oversized shirt. Now, the downside to Vicky Sew's patterns is that you can only get one size. Now, your girl much prefers patterns that have nested sizing because one, I do like to blend my sizes for fitting purposes. And two, I just like to have um, the ability to downsize my makes if I wanted to. And on the real occasion that I want to make something for somebody else, then I can use the same pattern. Now, if I were to make this pattern again, ideally, I think I would like to size down at least to the 44 or maybe even to the 42, but your girl is not purchasing this pattern for a second time just to get a smaller size. So I'm just going to go ahead and work with the size 46, which is this shirt. I'm going to go ahead and insert some footage so you guys can see what this shirt looks like on. I wore it already on two different occasions. The first time I wore it, I wore it like as a swimsuit cover-up. Now, I was going on a boat ride with a good friend of mine, and I thought that the pink would contrast well with my green swimsuit, and so I decided to wear it as a swimsuit cover-up. And you guys, I was feeling myself on the day that we took those photographs. I'm sure you guys can see from this photograph how hot I felt in this shirt as a swimsuit cover-up. Now, I also went ahead and wore this shirt to work. Yes, you guys, from playtime to work time, I wore this shirt to work as like a, like a regular shirt. I wore it as a regular shirt to the office. Now, I'm really not supposed to wear pink to work because um, I'm a lawyer and um, I can't wear pink to court. But on this particular day, I knew I had nothing in my calendar for court. And so I slipped it on and rocked it to the office. And I loved it as a conventional shirt as well. Now, my third make for the month also featured this fabric. But I don't have it here with me to show you guys. So I made Simplicity 9550 in a size 14 for my friend. So the same friend I was telling you about that I went on the boat ride with surprised me with a visit to Montserrat. And she was here just for six days and I wanted to make her something so she could take back with her. And I had some of this material left back, probably about a yard or a yard and a half or so of this material left back. And I wanted to make her a matching outfit. 
Now, unfortunately, it didn't work out for me to take photos of, photographs of her with us both wearing the same fabric, which is what I really wanted to do. But time sort of just got away from us and I wasn't able to do it. But I was able to snap a few photographs of her wearing it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it right here so you guys can see what she looks like in her garment, which was made by me. So as I said, I made Simplicity 9550 in a size 14. And it is a pattern that I have made before. I've made it as intended by Mimi G um, in like this crop top. I made it using a viscose rayon that I had gotten from Minerva in like this leopard print um, sort of pattern. I'm going to see if I have any photographs. And if I do, I'll insert a photograph so that you can see it. And I made this pattern as well, hacking it into a dress, which I made for my birthday last year using this see-through embroidered lace fabric. And I loved it loved loved that dress in fact i think i spoke more about that dress in my sewista awards sewing wrap up for 2023 and i'll go ahead and leave the link to that video as well so that you guys can go ahead and check that out but for january 2024 i made that shirt using this fabric for my friend and she loved it i didn't end up adding the elastic to the hemline of her shirt just because she preferred the loose fit at the waistline but I was really happy that I was able to make something for her. It was a quick and easy make and she was able to carry that back with her sort of as a souvenir of her visit to Strat in 2024. All right, you guys. So my next make for the month was also for somebody else, this time for my brother. So he wanted me to make him a button down shirt using this fabulous Ankara print that he and his girlfriend wanted to be like twinsies in a photo shoot. So I turned his fabric into this stunning shirt made using the Mimi G Gosling pattern. Now the Gosling pattern is an older pattern, I think back when she drafted for I'm So So Deaf magazine. And I bought this pattern and have had it in my stash for ages, I think since 2018 when I started learning to sew. So I pulled it again to make his shirt. Now the pattern is not very size inclusive. It ranges from an extra small to a double XL which accommodates a chest size of 34 inches up to 44 inches. So not very size inclusive at all. But again, she's forgiven because this is a much older pattern which hit the scene before size inclusivity became, you know, such a big deal. Thankfully, a lot of pattern companies are responding to the request by the sewing community for larger size ranges. And so her new patterns do have much bigger size ranges. But for this pattern, it was an extra small to a double XL. So I made him a size large and I have gone ahead and filmed my review of the Gosling shirt. Now you guys, if that review has gone live already, then I'll be sure to put the link in right here and in the description box. If it has not yet gone live, then stay tuned. It will be going live very soon. Now you guys, I'm new to this YouTube thing. I'm new to this content creation thing. And sometimes I film the content, haven't gotten around to editing yet, haven't gotten around to uploading yet. And so things are not always in the same sequence as I initially intend. So please forgive me if you have not yet seen this one on my channel. It will be with you really, really soon. So again, this is a Mimi G Gosling shirt and I made it um, in this lovely Ankara for my brother. He loved it, you guys. I'll go ahead and insert a picture so you can see what it looks like on. And I do think I want to knit this shirt from him and add it to my very own wardrobe. Because one, it fits me, you guys. It fits me. And two, it is in my colors. Now, I'm sure if you've watched any of my other videos, you have heard me harping on about being a color guru ambassador. And I do have an ambassador code in case any of you out there are interested in getting your colors done for 2024. And I'll leave the details in the description box down below. Needless to say, I am a twilight winter and he is also a twilight winter. And so we can both wear the same colors. And this shirt with this pink happens to be our energy color. And so I think this shirt will work wonderfully in my wardrobe. So you guys, I'm pretty sure I want to nick this one from him and add it to my wardrobe instead. So my fifth make for the month is actually something that I cannot share with you guys just yet. I know, I know, I know. Well, why am I even talking about it? Well, I'm talking about it because I have made it in January and this is a wrap up of my January makes, but I cannot go yet into the details of this make other than to say that it is a Minerva kit and if you don't know, I am a Minerva ambassador. Minerva is a company over in the UK that sells fabric and sewing notions. 
And as part of their sort of promotional strategies, they do have a team of ambassadors who advocate for their company. And as part of that program, I sometimes get free fabric or free kits from Minerva. So I have received one such kit and I love it, you guys. That's all I will tell you so far is that I love the kit that I got. I love my make and I'll be looking forward to sharing with you guys in a future video all about it. So stay tuned for that one. Now, my final make for the month was a Tasuti Fabrics Hillary top. So I'm going to tell you guys again about the Make 9 project. As part of the project, I wanted to make a blouse and I chose for that blouse my Hillary top by Tasuti Fabrics. Now, Tasuti was a new to me um, pattern company that I discovered in 2023. I think they actually sell fabrics and patterns. So I discovered their patterns back in 2023 and I was smitten with their Hillary top and knew I wanted to give it a go. There is something about that elastic casing detail at the sleeve that I found very intriguing and I knew I wanted to add this top to my wardrobe and also because it is a peplum top and that is the kind of silhouette that your girl enjoys. So I went ahead and made the Tasuti Fabrics Hillary top, which is this one right here, using this beautiful broderie and glaze that I had in my stash. Now I'm sure you guys can pick it up on the screen that there is white elastic in my casing. I did not have any black el elastic on hand and I was trying on this pattern for fit because I wasn't sure whether I wanted to keep the elastic in it or not. I have since made a decision and there is a video featuring the behind the scenes footage of this top which I will also link to this video so that you can go ahead and check out the behind the scenes making of this top. Now, since filming that video, I have made a decision about the elastic. I'm not going to share it with you just yet, but I will have in the future a video featuring um, a pattern review of this top. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. That was my wrap up of my January 2024 makes. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of these makes was your favorite. Have you made any? Are you planning on making any? Which ones did you like? Which ones are you not so fond of? Leave all the comments down below. Now, if you've gotten this far and you have not yet subscribed, then please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube community. It costs you absolutely nothing and it guarantees that you will see my upcoming videos and it also helps me to reach other like-minded sewers. So again, hit that subscription icon, hit the notification bell and come on and join my sewing community. So that's all I have for you today, you guys. And until next time, stay safe, keep sewing, peace.